presenting J the J component review three for our project. The title of our project is Digital Stopwatch Using 8051 Microcontroller. Uh, the team members are. I'm Romo. Hi, I am Anu. I am Aditya. And myself, Anushka. So the, this is an index of all the topics that we've included in the PPT. The objective of our project was to digital stopwatch with the help of 8051 microcontroller, 8089S52. So a four digit seven segment display has seven segments which are labeled from A to G. Uh, each letter is associated with a unique pin on the four digit display. In a four digit seven segment display, there are seven, uh, there are seven segments which are labeled from A to G. Each letter is then associated with a unique pin on the four digit display. The remaining pin on the component is for the decimal point. To display a digit on the display, the correct pin must be turned on. For example, to create the number two on the second digit, we need to turn on pin D2 as well as A, B, D, E, and G. Technically, the display is not capable of displaying more than one digit at a time. So, we use the phenomenon of persistence of vision to trick our eyes and brain into seeing multiple digits. While the display will only show one digit at a time, we can insert a very short delay before the next digit appears. This will trick our eyes and brain into seeing the digits at the same time, using delay small as 5 millisecond or 5,000th of a second will enable us to see four digits at a time. So this is the circuit diagram that we made during the review two of our project. Here we used BCDs and individual segments. But because of the because we needed more components and different components, we've made a new circuit diagram. And uh, here we have the start stop pins and we've used a four digit seven segment display. Okay, I'll be talking about uh, the delay part of our project. Uh, so the delay for our project is like, so we require a delay, uh, we need to be generating a delay of 500 microseconds to be precise. And uh, so like what we need is that, so. We have it at 500 as the benchmark, as the threshold. So what we do is we take the 16 bit, because the timer is 16 bit, we take the value that is 65536 and subtract this value. So that is what we, so we get the value of 65036 as that, uh, the final value. And now what we do here is that this value is the one that's gonna be incrementing up to 65536 as, so that's gonna be like the timer here. So now we convert it to hexadecimal for the code to function properly. And so here we have two parts for the timer because it's a 16 bit uh, timer and the uh, 851 only allows eight bits. So we have to split into two parts, T hat zero and T L zero, that is high and low. So T hat zero takes the value of FF and T L zero takes the value of uh, 48. Next slide please. Yeah, so coming to the code, if you can see the first function that is the white delay function, here we, we are setting up the basic parts of uh, what is needed to be set for the timer to start. So we set it as the timer mode as one and in turn, like using timer zero. We set the high and low values as calculated in the previous slide. We start the timer with the command PR zero. And then as the, as the timer comes to like to the final threshold value, it then overflows. So when it overflows, we tell that we have to stop the timer and then we have to clear that flag, that is the TF0 flag. And so this is the entire delay, delay function. To talk about the display function that I'm using to display the digits in our uh, seven segment code. So initially here uh, we are declaring an array and the array I would, I would we call it stopwatch. And uh, as, a, as a display is a four digit seven segment common cathode display, we use uh, these hex values and 0x3f0 0x06 and so on. So uh, 0x3f will show me 0, 0 on the display. 0x06 will show me 1 on the display. 0x5b will show me 2 on the display and so on. Suppose uh, if I want to display uh, the digit 3, I will uh, just call this particular array and I'll put 3 in these brackets. So that'll pick 0, 1, 2, 3. 
So I'll pick 0x4f and it will show it'll show me the digit 3 on uh, whichever particular it'll show me the number 3 on whichever digit I want to display. So initially we are setting the start pin, stop pin, and reset pin to be high because in the microcontroller, uh, in our 8051 microcontroller, uh, the pins here uh, are initially high. So uh, here is the uh, so here I have declared here we have declared uh, some global variables so like so we could use it in this particular function. So here uh, when I say temp is uh, equal to x by thousand, let's for, for example uh, let's assume that x is uh, hundred. So when I do hundred by thousand, I'll get the value of zero here as temp. Uh, so because that that happens because I'm uh, I'm putting temp as in int. So I get a zero here. So the new value of x will be 100 modulus of 1000. So 100 modulus of 1000 should give me a 100. And uh, I select the segment one because the port, the port can select only one particular segment or one particular digit at a time. So I select segment one and it'll, and, and P2, that is the, and port two, uh, will is connected to the uh, letters from A to G of the seven segment display, which Anushka mentioned before. So as the temp value is zero here, zero will be called into this stopwatch temp in the character array, and it will be calling this value zero x three f. So it will show. So port two will take the value of zero, and it will put it in the segment one, or you could call it the first digit. And here I'm calling the same delay, which Romal mentioned before, of 500 microseconds, to uh, to uh, to to satisfy the theory of uh, persistence of vision. Uh, and now uh, the new value for our x it would be 100. So 100 by 100 should give me one. And uh, so yeah, uh, 100 uh, and 10. Now we know the temp value is one. Uh, let's keep that in mind. So X, the new value of x would be 100 mod 100, which is 0. 100 modulus of 100 would be 0. P1 would be segment 2. So this time I want the port 1 to select the second digit. And P2 would show stopwatch of temp. So let's, uh, uh, so as we saw here, the value of temp was uh, initially 1. So P2 would display uh, this value here, 0x06. Zero zero so it'll select the value one, and again I will call the delay function to satisfy the theory of persistence of vision. And here temp uh, temp would be zero by ten, as our new value of x is zero, because hundred modulus hundred would give me zero. Which and now I'm choosing my port one to select segment three, and port two would select stopwatch of temp. Temp value here again is zero. And similarly for this digit four, uh, I, uh, the new value of x would be 10. 10 mod 10 would give me zero. So, uh, and this time my port one select segment four or digit four and stopwatch temp zero is called. And again, the delay function is called as to overcome persistence of vision. So this is only, uh, I've explained how to display 100. So if you want to display uh, another number uh, that so you just have to apply the same concept here and it'll uh, satisfy and whenever you call this display function it would it would display whatever number is being chosen now uh, manas will explain the main function now we'll move to the driver code uh, we have declared variable that is flag count and display function first we'll use the infinite loop that is while one uh, after that, we'll press the start pin. Uh, flag is equal to one. If uh, now uh, the display function calls the delay function four times, we have to run this uh, function 40 times in order to achieve one second. After that, we'll increase count by one. Uh, after this, uh, if the count in any uh, time gets equal to 9999, uh, then we'll reset the count as zero. Uh, if we need to reset the watch, uh, we'll initialize count as, again as zero. And if we need to stop the count, uh, we'll have 
flag is equal to zero. And now these are the components that we used to construct our uh, uh, stopwatch. So the crystal oscillator, a four-digit seven-segment display. Uh, I we use three button switches connecting wires and 8089 S52 microcontroller. And uh, these are the images of the hardware uh, that was used. So I uh, here is a I ran it for uh, 12.4 seconds. So this was the value we got for after 12.4 seconds. And these are some applications could be used in sporting events, any competitions or particular lab experiments. So to conclude that uh, we have all understood uh, some level of uh, coding in uh, C and how to load it into a microcontroller and make a hardware work. So we can we can use this circuit uh, with uh, pause. I mean start pause and uh, reset switches. Hello, my name is Anitya, and I will be explaining the hardware of the project. I will tell you first what is required, what is being, what software I'm using, and uh, I will finally show you the show you the working of the project. So uh, let's. Uh, I, I'm gonna start off with the components. Components required are um, um, an 8051 microcontroller. In this case, in my project, I'm using a 8089 S52, and uh, the programmer I'm using. You need a programmer, and the program is a programmer is an uh, AVR ISP programmer, as you can see here. is used for programming 8051 microcontrollers. Uh, you need uh, seven uh, 330 ohm resistors. You need three button switches uh, push button switches as you can see they are using three here uh, you need a you need four one kilo ohm resistors and you need finally you need a seven segment display in this uh, particular uh, starter kit this is a starter kit you can ignore uh, LCD display the battery and all uh, all these ICs you can, you need to just focus on this microcontroller and these ports that I am using and the ground pin that has been drawn from the microcontroller which is the 40th pin if you look at the data sheet of this microcontroller you will find out so uh, moving on uh, to the working and to how the connection is being made firstly uh, I'm programming a program we are programming the port 2 to uh, A to G in this particular 7 segment display the 4 digit 7 segment display uh, this is this is the A and this is B this is C this is D this is E this is F and this is G the same same logic applies for the other three digits uh, and uh, as that which is connected to port 2 as I mentioned before and this is mentioned in the code here uh, I'm, I'm using port 1 pins from 1.0 to 1.2 to connect to digit 1 uh, dig to connect to the 4 digits respectively from port 1.0 to port 1.3 and I'm using port 1.4 port uh, to port 1.6 to connect to the 3 button switches that is start, stop and reset as you can see I have mentioned in the code here on what we are mentioned in the code here on what I'm talking about so this bit of the code so this is the and uh, this is the port 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 start pin is 1.4 1.5 and 1.6 respectively now uh, uh, let me show you this uh, how it's work it works you can ignore this particular resistor because I'm just using to uh, you know put these wires together so I can show you the display more clearly so starting off with uh, start this is the start button as I mentioned before from the code and to load the code I am using a, a proxy ISP software as you can see I have 
load the code here in this way so yeah uh, once i started the stopwatch now it's running for 20 seconds i will let it run up to 40 seconds and i'll pause it Now the second button as I mentioned before is a pause button which is connected to uh, pin pin 1.5 and so it stops at 43.5 just to if I want to resume my counting I will hit resume again or I will hit the start button again which resumes the stopwatch I will let it uh, run up to 100 seconds so that I can show you this third digit is working the fourth digit is working as well As you can see it counts up to it counted up to 100 so if I keep letting it run forever it will show me 9999 so that's 999 seconds and 900 milliseconds so when I pause it uh, it pauses and we hit reset and I hit reset it resets when I want to start it again I can do the same thing I can again hit the start button and pause reset so this is how our project works thank you